Okay, here's an update on the world of cyber liability and cyber attacks. Here's an article admittedly from the insurance industry, so they're gonna have a bias towards the importance of cyber insurance, but it says it's essential because businesses are combating rising cyber crime. So what does the article say? Um, there's a cyber attack every 39 seconds in the US and the sophistication and frequency is going up. Uh, it's a surge in attacks for manufacturing, professional services, and financial sectors. That's the key, financial services. A lot of these cyber hackers are going after companies with a lot of uh, clients, a lot of um, inventory of names that they can uh, extract from your business. Even though businesses are ramping up defenses, the attacks are still happening. Uh, there's over 2,000 each day. 10 trillion is the cost of cybercrime, and that comes from paying ransoms, defending against the attacks, fixing computers that have been damaged from attacks, and the other associated costs to your business. Here's the big scary part. It's more lucrative to have sophisticated attacks, meaning that the hackers are spending more time crafting the attack instead of just blasting shotgun approach at multiple businesses. Uh, they're waiting for victims to leave vulnerability in their companies. One of the things that's key is making sure you have three elements of protection in your business. Number one is you have best practices for defense. You have two-factor authentication. You have all your updates over your patches. You also have active monitoring. That's the second most important thing. Have some type of system that is monitoring your network and all your devices for attacks. You're gonna see the attacks every day. That's not gonna be the issue. The issue is, are they getting through? And number three, which is often overlooked, is having some type of a response plan. If you are attacked tomorrow, what would you do? Who handles each thing? It's kind of like a fire drill. Your accounting department will have to do things. Your HR department will have to do things. Your tech department will have to do things. Your managers will have to do things. You'll have to contact vendors, have to contact customers. Make sure you have a checklist for what each person, each department has to do. So if and when it does happen, you're not caught flat-footed figuring out what's the approach because you may not have access to your system to get a hold of people. So you might want to have a printed uh, checklist or a binder that allow you to jump into action. A cyber insurance policy will also help you do this should you decide to get a policy. But if you have more questions about cyber protection, cyber defense, you can click the link below and we can talk about it.